In order to start analyzing a corpus, you need to sign in to context. You can either uh, register as a new user or you can use your existing social media accounts to sign in to context. After login, you need to insert your corpus data for analysis. Context supports different types of social media inputs like RSS, item feeds, WordPress blog, uh, blogger, and many other types of social media inputs. For example, we select WordPress here, then we need to enter the URL for our WordPress blog, then we select the number of items we want to analyze, and we select our desired NLP service, and then we assign a name for our corpus and start analyzing it. Context supports different views for text analytics. In the faceted browsing view, you can browse the entities by their types, so you see the different entity types in a hierarchical manner. If you select an entity type, the results will be filtered based on the selected entity. We have multiple facets. If you go, for example, to the date facet, then you can filter your results based on a specific date or you can even select multiple facets like two different countries to see the posts related to those selected countries. In context you can refine the annotated entities if, for example, one entity is wrongly recognized, you can easily delete this entity. Or if you see a new entity which, are, which is not recognized by the NLP API, you can easily add it as a new entity. In the Places map view, you will see all the locations detected in your input data, so you can browse these locations on the map and by clicking on each location you can see all the related articles for this location. In the people view you will see all the people recognized in your articles based on their birth and death date. If you select an entity, then you will see all the related articles referring to that specific person. In the Entity Relations view, you will see the relation between the detected entities based on their co-occurrences in the text. So if you select one entity, you will see its relation to other entities. And if you click on it, then you will see the number of co-occurrences in the text. And you can also see the articles where they are co-occurring. You can also sort the results by the frequency of the entities. So for example, select entities which are at least nine times repeated in the text. You can also remove the noise from your data. <laughs> 